Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing a design using some more of She Modern's fabulous products. Um, obviously all details and links will be in the description box below. So you can get water decals and foil arts in a big strip like this. Um, when you order some powders, so like here I have got these magic um, binding powders which I'm going to show you how you can use. Um, you also get other things in the pack so obviously you'd get the three magic binding powders you get a, a nail brush cleaner or a water bottle you get a sort of like um freebie selection of some of their water decals so here you've got the hollow outline a red foil outline and then a blue foil outline all gorgeous and also as well which I absolutely love, I think this is my favourite part of what they sell, is these creative um, reusable stencils. You can create some really gorgeous glitteriness with these. And you also get like a little mixing canvas as well. So you're gonna need to apply some foil glue to your nails. So I'm just starting off with a white base. Please excuse my French, she's just seen a bird in the garden. <laughs> And then I'm going to be using this translucent glitter. I did use this and show it in my previous video. If you've not seen it, I'll put links to it at the end of this video. So I love the fact that you can just tap a little bit out so you haven't got tons of like waste of your glitter. And if you need to apply more, you can do. So you just want to really rub it in. And then I've gone ahead and top coated it. This has got a gorgeous blue and gold shimmer to it. So you want to get your creative stencil. So with this, obviously you would need to apply some more foil glue because that's what the glitter is going to stick to. And the creative stem stencil won't stick unless it's got something tacky to stick to. Um, so you want to make sure it's all flat. And then I'm going ahead and getting this gorgeous red holographic glitter. And I'm going to do like um, a glitter curve so you like I say you want to make sure it's really lying down flat and I just love this stencil because obviously it's sticking to where the glue is but I can peel this off and then what's underneath would still be still be tacky it doesn't affect the tackiness in any way which is ace so I could take this off and then add another line of glitter if I wanted to um, so yeah so I've not seen anything like this on the market and uh, I really Kind of want to promote the products in case you know people don't know about it or are a bit unsure on how to use them and um, because they really are ace so then as well you can use these creative stencils with stamping if you wanted to add stamping in a specific area so i'm just going to place it on top of the stencil like so and then you peel off this stencil and the stamping is only going to be on that part of the nail where you want it to be, which I just think is awesome. So if you do get like a little bit of leaking over, you can just get some polish remover and kind of gently coax that off the nail before you go ahead and apply the top coat. So I'm just applying the top coat now. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and cure that in your lamp. And then just to make this sort of like a little bit neater, well, I'm going to attempt it anyway, so I'm not very great with freehand. I'm just sort of getting um, some black gel and going around the outline just to make it that little bit more sort of sharp and crisp. Then you would want to obviously uh, cure that and then top coat it and this is the end look which I just absolutely love and I hope you guys love it too. Now to clean off your stencil so it can be reusable I've just put it on my lint roller and you obviously want to gently peel it away and then it's got rid of the glitter and the stamping that was on it. You want to put this on a surface where it's going to lie flat because obviously you don't want it to kind of like dry curled. So uh, this is a pack of um, foil art and water decals. I didn't realize I was gonna get both, but, but I do think that's ace in it. So um, obviously you can see there's a slight color variation between the foil art and the water decal. I've 
Gonna, I'm going to be using the water decal today because I think the foil art can be a little bit more fiddly and I want to try out this binding uh, gel powder so I'm going to do it with the water decals because I think it will be easier. So um, with all of these you get like black backing paper and like little canvasy things. So with all decals generally they come with like a film which I'm struggling to get off with the glue so I'm just going to show you here, you want to like remove that off the decal before you put it in the water because it just won't lift if you don't. So then I'm just going to be using these smaller ones at the bottom. So I'm going to cut out four. And I want to sort of keep that bottom bit on for future reference. But you can do lots with these, like I'm filling it in with this dry powder, you can do it, you can fill it with Sharpies, with normal polish, sorry. Um, uh, which I really love about it because you can get some really fabulous looking designs with the different like bits to use. So I put some water in the water bottle. So you really don't need loads, you don't need like a pot of water like I used to. And obviously you want to keep it separate because then it's going to be easier to apply because it's not going to, you know, come off the back in and then like float around kind of thing. It will remain flat. So I'm just going to leave that on there, obviously make sure they're separate. And it's literally like 10 seconds and they'll be ready to separate off the back in. So I've got my tweezers now and I'm just going to line it up on the nail and pat it down roughly. And then I'm going to be getting a, another one and placing that at the top. So once you've got it in position, it's going to be fairly dry, so it's going to stick really well. But if you just want to get like a paper towel and just make sure you've got rid of all the excess decal before you move on. Sorry, excess water before you move on to the next step. So I'm using my clear jelly stamper plate for the leaf detail. So I'm just going to add um, like three leaves going around the roses. Obviously kind of trying to do like a, like a curved design going up and around the nail. So I'll place it here in, in the middle and then I place the other one at the top of the nail. Excuse me, I'll get rid of the excess. So there you go, that's placed at the top of the nail like so. So now I'm going to be using the, um, the dry magic powder binding thing because basically you're going to be able to mix it with some glitters and apply it to these decals and you can have like really sparkly um, images, which I think is awesome. So you add your glitter, then you add um, some of the magic binding powder. You add a little bit of water, place it on top of the glitter. And then you wanna just mix the water in with the glitter first. And then you wanna bring the magic binding powder in. So this will dry and get thicker um, sorry, this will get thicker as it dries. If it completely dries, you can just add a little bit more water and then it will, you know, be able to be used again. So you keep adding the glitter and the magic powder till you've kind of got the consistency that you're happy with. And then I'm adding some flakies to it just to add that gorgeous, like, goldy, ready tone. So you want to kind of, like, wait a minute just so it starts to thicken up because it will be easier to place it. And then... Um, just get a nail brush that you're comfortable with and then I'm starting to place this on the uh, on the leaves if you can get like a big blob like I did that's good and you just want to flatten that out and spread it out but look how gorgeous that is then before you move on to the next step you can use these water bottles if you've got like a spare one and I've put some isopropyl alcohol in just to clean off my brushes. I don't want to be using acetone because it's too strong. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing with the Magic Binding Powder with their um, ultra fine hollow um, glitter. And again, I'm going to be adding some of the, the flakies also. So mix it in before. But I think this is awesome that you can add whatever's in this powder and like you can use that to fill in like your nail art. Now, 
thinking about it i probably could have mixed it in with gel polish instead of water because then obviously you can cure it underneath your lamp but if you're not using gel polish you're going to need to leave this for a good 15 minutes plus maybe by an open window or an air fan for it to dry before you go on and do anything else now at this point i thought oh no i can't like fully cover it in but then i had an idea so i came back after i'd got rid of everything and I am completely covering it over like so. So you're getting that gorgeous hollow with the goldy flecks coming in. And like I say, leave it for a good 15 minutes plus because if you come back and it's not dry, you're gonna wreck it and you're gonna wish you had waited. So then basically I thought because these are see-through, I can just use these same water decals and place it on the top. So that way you get the gorgeous hollow rose. Um, I know obviously you're using double the amount of water decal, but for me personally, I think it is totally worth it because what a gorgeous looking design that you're able to create. It is so hard trying to capture on camera how awesome this looks in the flesh. It's just not doing it, but it is really gorgeous. So then I'm just finishing it off by adding um, the, some of the leaf detail, obviously to the leaves. So there you go. So how pretty is that? So I went outside and even that doesn't really fully show it how awesome it is, but I really hope you guys love it and um, have enjoyed watching this sort of review and design on how you can use some Sheen Modern products. If you've not shopped there, seriously, go click the link in the description box and check out their store. It is amazing. They have got so much to offer, so much choice and just look what you can, can create using their products. I'm in love, Jelly Babes. In love. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. Please press that free subscribe button if you've not done so. Press, give me a like or a thumbs up and leave a comment. I always love to read them. And a huge thank you to She Modern for very generously sending me out these products to review and have a play with. So that is it, Jelly Babes, for today. Hope you've enjoyed this design and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.